Today, we're going to talk about Teams AI, Library, and Azure AI Search. I have to admit, I thought this session was at four o'clock. I've got it on my calendar as that, so apologies. Um, I was late. Um, this is me, um, and I've been doing this stuff for a few years now. Uh, and um, you can link to me if you'd like to on Twitter, and there's a link to uh, LinkedIn later on as well. Let's get on to the main event. Um, so why it is, why would you want to do these things? We're going to talk through why you'd want to do uh, use Teams AI Library, Teams Toolkit, and AI Azure AI Search together. Uh, what is what is it about? How do we use it? There'll be a demo, and then I'll I'll sort of point out some uh, areas of interest and then some resources. So uh, first of all, why you have to start with why, as Simon Sinek says. Um, so we're going to talk about building custom copilots, and there are some options. But first of all, what is a custom copilot? Um, I appreciate a lot of you are all well versed in this, but I thought I best just cover this just in case. Um, so, uh, to me, a custom copilot uh, with a lowercase c is an assistant. It's powered by AI uh, and it's tailored for a specific purpose. Um, and that gives the ability to, for that it has better, it can give better results because it's got a smaller scope. You know, the data scope is, is smaller or, or what it's trying to do is very specific. Think of it a little bit like a app on your mobile, on your phone. Apparently, if you say mobile phone, you are uh, old. Um, so, uh, in this example, we're going to build a knowledge copilot, um, and uh, this copilot is going to provide knowledge for law firms. And the idea is, it's allowing those fee earners to access knowledge more quickly. Um, and um, there, like I said, there are options for building custom copilots. Um, you can use the Microsoft Teams Toolkit with the Teams AI library. Uh, you could also build Microsoft uh, with Microsoft Copilot Studio too. Um, kind of the, the, you know, this is this is a. I was looking at this sort of start of the year and things move quickly, but I was looking at how to improve the results coming back uh, from uh, the large language models and, and 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 sort of stewing over this 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 information. Um, and I was looking also to understand the different ways that custom copilots could be created. Um, and you know, sort of reviewing those, I, I kind of. I was wondering which which approach is better, and uh, of course, a true consultant is going to say it depends. Um, and you've got the Teams Toolkit and the Teams AI Library uh, versus kind of Microsoft Copilot Studio. The Teams Toolkit is you know sort of more pro code, uh, and the Copilot Studio low code. Um, and I have to say that I like the control that we get with the Teams Toolkit and the Teams AI Library. And in my experience, the results coming back through which. You know, when you're connecting up to Azure OpenAI models with Azure AI Search, are better. Now you can do use Azure OpenAI uh, uh, with Copilot Studio as well, of course, um, too. But um, the other part of it as well is being able to, uh, you know, in, in sort of process or create the data that you're um, looking to uh, uh, these LLMs to reason over. And you've got lots of options there with Azure AI search and chunking. Um, and I just, yeah, I like the control. So um, when I was looking at putting this together, I was doing my research. At the time, there weren't any examples of the Teams AI library with Azure AI search for TypeScript. That's now changed. Um, and there are some in the samples gallery. Um, but it, this, this all came about from a, a call in. In, in March, it was a community call. I think it was one of the Tuesday afternoon calls, and someone was asking, was there any guys to help them build a solution using the Teams AI library and the toolkit and Azure AI search? And I, I did some searching, uh, and there wasn't one, so I thought I'd share my project. Um, so let's go into what it is and, and, and how. So um, the Teams toolkit allow, is a framework uh, with the AI library that allows us to build custom co-pilots and the, their, their Teams apps hosted in Teams. Um, the, other, the beauty of Azure AI Search is a service uh, in uh, Microsoft Azure in the cloud platform, um, and it allows us to index almost any content. Uh, there are sort of built-in indexes for uh, Azure Blob Storage and SharePoint, but there's also lots of third-party ones. So uh, in the legal world, uh, a, a popular document management system, you know, unfortunately isn't SharePoint, is uh, iManage, uh, and there's indexes for that. So, and, and if you don't, if there isn't an index, you can almost, you know, build your own as well. So, so it's really versatile. Um, 
they the, the thing is, is how do you connect them together how do you bring the, the two together and, and that was the bit that um that there wasn't anything available to do that this pattern um i'm sure a lot of you've heard this term before uh retrieval augmented generation or rag is is the ability to uh, allow us to use um, an llm to reason over content in azure AS search so a user can give a um a nice uh, prompt, uh, a natural language prompt, um, and that prompt, you know, is going to live in Teams uh, in this app UX. It's going to get passed through the Teams AI library, passed on to uh, Azure OpenAI, which is going to turn that into, uh, it will take out the main intent and then pass that into Azure AI search. Uh, and Azure AI search can then return back results. And as you can see on the right hand side, we've got lots of different data sources we can use um, within that Azure AI search. That that query will then get returned back a set of results, uh, which then comes back to uh, Azure OpenAI, and we're going to then get a nice natural language response coming back. So that's just retrieval augmented generation. So let's have a go at a demo. Um, now I'm going to be honest. I am not going to try and I was I was going to do this live. But the process of augmented generation takes some time. So uh, let's, I'm going to show you a video. In this video, um, we've got uh, uh, our Teams app running. Uh, we're going to ask a question about how do we defend a contract law case. And what's really nice is we're going to get back a result uh, with um, some points to it, giving the FIANA uh, an approach to uh, uh, defending this law case. And the Teams AI library in the most recent version, 1.3.1, we get citation support, so we can see links to the to the documents. We've got a, a, a an overview of what why it is that that content's there. We've got that AI generated label at the top as well, so that people know that they need to check the content because it may be incorrect, um, and so they can review that. Um, also, as well, we've got feedback support too. So we can click on like, and we can uh, very much like we're getting Microsoft Copilot for, uh, Copilot for Microsoft 365. We can uh, like and dislike, and we can manage that. We can take on that feedback and, uh, and, and do whatever it is we'd like to do with that, passing it back to the team. Um, so we've we, we, we've got that ability to take um, you know those 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 in, those questions from the fee earners and give back uh, a nice result um, using our content. And like I say, because it's a custom copilot, we've got good quality of data coming back as well. In this example, we're going to defend. We're going to sort of explain how we can defend a duty of care case. Um, and so. We, again, we're going to get different results back. We're going to get uh, those citations in there as well. Um, and you know, the the content actually in here is is, is living in Azure Blob Storage, um, and it's possible that we can manage these citations. We can look over these citations, which I, I want to show you next. So let's move this on a bit. Okay. So I wanted to sort of. Some points to mention. Um, I've got. Uh, I've, I've taken a screenshot. Um, I will show the uh, the, um, the implementation here in Teams, uh, and hopefully you can see that. I'm not hear my kids in the background too much. Um, so this is the implementation we've got. This is all in in GitHub. Um, it implements uh, the the data source uh, interface, which the Teams AI library has. Uh, we pass in a, a set of options, which tells us, you know, the endpoint to use, the key to use, um, and we we sort of we implement this render data, which then allows us to go in and uh, call this get chat completions, which is going to go off, talk to Azure AI search, uh, and then give us back a set of results, uh, which are then being passed back through. I'm going, I know I'm going through this quite quickly. I have not too much time. I want to make sure I, I don't run out of time. But um, this is all available on GitHub, and, and I'll show you the links to those blog. Uh, the other part I wanted to show you as well was um, on here, not that one, on this one. Um, the other bit as well, just you know, when you're playing around with this stuff, just understanding um, what's available. Let me just uh, make that a bit bigger. Um, and so um, this 
in, in, in the Teams AI library, um, you sort of you can override um, this say command, which is what's going to output the final content back to the user. We've got the ability to uh, uh, pick up that feedback has, uh, loop has been enabled, so we're showing those feedback options. Um, but just down the bottom here, I don't, you know, this is just doing some nice formatting. Um, but it's just this bit down here where we can do the citations. Um, that um, you know is, is able is is, is going to be an object which comes through in the response. We can create this 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 object here uh, and then um, format that. And then pass that through, and that's then how Teams is able to render those citations, as we see. And I just wanted to to call that out. So, um, coming back to to this, um, I will give you the link so you can have a look properly for yourself. Uh, we've got the citation support, which is fantastic. Um, you know, if you were pulling content from other other systems, even if it was something like Azure Blob Storage, you might not want to have to. Um, you know, uh, render uh, the URL directly. You might want to override that, and and so you can do that here. We might have maybe an Azure function which we we use uh, as a proxy to be able to pull back uh, that um, that that document. Um, the other bit I wanted to just pull out as well. Um, in I'm not going to show you the the real one because it's got um, API keys and stuff. Um, but uh, there is a in the config.json, you have to add in this data sources area, and that's what uh, uh, allows the citations to, to work. If you don't have that, the citation support doesn't come in. So, how are we doing for time? I think we're nearly there. Um, so, there's some links here. Uh, the top two are, are links to the Teams AI library. Um, the second one is, is around the concepts. Behind the Teams AI library, definitely loads of kind of a little bit hidden away uh, uh, concepts of how to use that. So certainly uh, uh, take a look at that. There's a link to the Azure uh, AI search as well, so you can get started on that and understand how to how to get that set up. Uh, and then there's a link to the blog uh, the blog series as well, so you can use that to to get all your indexes and everything set up. Um, and there's just one last thing, um, just. Uh, in, in, in Europe, uh, it's the Euro 2024, uh, and we've got England versus Denmark uh, later on today. And I just uh, want to say, may the, the team with the best white and red flag win. And uh, thank you very much for, for watching, and I'll hand it back to you.